Yo, what is poppin' ladies and gents? I'm back here again with another unordinary video. John versus Seraphine. I would let y'all know that I was gonna do this video. If you haven't already, check out my uh, aura manipulation video explained and thoughts video somewhere i don't know where it is it's like j just go to the subscription to check out those videos but hey, hey besides that let's hop right into this video so right before we hop into this let's get let's just like look at each other look at look at these guys uh feats so far so seraphine well her, their feats and their uh, skills so from what we know seraphina's time manipulation can rewind freeze and she just super fast that's like the best way to say it because i couldn't come up with a better name to like really imply what the name of that portion of skill is called but she lacks in hand-to-hand -hand combat yes a lot of you guys are probably gonna blow a gasket or some shit saying that john has been teaching her how to fight or something like that but like yeah she's been being taught how to fight but she's definitely not on the same level as somebody like a blake and eisen or an arlo or even John, she's definitely not at the same level as John. If you think just him teaching her a few things is gonna automatically put her at the same level, then you're living in a world of your own. So, okay, so looking at John's aura manipulation and his own skills. So John can copy an opponent's aura and then amplify by 1.5 times. He's excellent at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and John is just excellent at bluffing and baiting skills. So where does the bluffing and baiting skills come in? Well. The bluffing part, obviously, he just showed that he's probably like not. It's not. He showed he could buy time with his bluffing, along with the fact that his baiting skill is um. It's like when he was fighting against Blake, he didn't he, he didn't bluff, but he was baiting him pretty much. He didn't need to. He didn't need his ability to beat Blake. We already saw that uh he was beating him in hand to hand combat, and then he put Blake in a arm hold where he almost broke his arm so it forced blake to use his ability he, he could have beat blake without using his ability to be honest he literally could have but he just uh but blake used it so he just said screw it i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna use it and that's exactly what happened and you could also look at the case where he was fighting against remy when remy would get close when remy was um and arlo were fighting him and she tried to st snatch his mask he intentionally let her get close and then he kicked her into the air and then he busted her ass that's what happened it's the same thing it's also like at the beginning of the fight where he punches her into the wall because he let her get close on purpose so those are just examples of his baiting skill physical feats would include getting hit by a truck getting up and then running after that truck you're trying to tell me this shit not crazy how many people in the unordinary world you think is really gonna get hit by a truck and then get right back up you think arlo getting hit by a truck and then getting back up maybe if he has his barrier up but when John had that had that happen to him, he didn't have a barrier up. I rewatched, I rechecked the chapter, and he literally didn't have a barrier up. And you're trying to tell me this man is actually like truck defense level? Okay, nice. It's pretty powerful. So the next feat would be taking all four worlds at the same time and combining their powers to a level of 29.5 after the amplifier. So when you add them all up, it's 19.5, and then you then you multiply it by the amp 1.5, and then you get 29.5. And then the next feat, I guess you could really call it a feat, but it's more like just like knowledgeable trait or something that just happened. So he didn't use his ability for over a year. <clears throat> Arlo dragged this man into the desert and then he got his ass beat and his goons. So yeah, there's no ring rust there, kids. There really is no ring rust there. So I'll just like get that out the way. Serafina doesn't really have too many physical feats as of what we've seen. Yeah, she is, she is the strongest at the school, but... The, I mean, I guess you can call that a physical feat in itself, but that's really it. She isn't amazing at hand-to-hand -hand combat just because she could just use her ability and she doesn't have to fight them. She could just knock them into the wall. So if it does come down to a hand-to-hand -hand combat game, like, you know where I'm going with this. So let's just hop into the big money question. Who do I think would win and why? Well, I guess a lot of people probably just going to like expect this. It's not even a fanboy thing, but it's just like 100% who I think would win. Like all bias aside, I think John would easily win. Well, not even easily. I just do think he would win. So, I think John would win because of his superior combat skills on top of his ability to copy Sarah's ability and amplify it. So, let's just throw out the question of whether he can co copy or not. Let's just throw that out until for now, just for now. So, some would believe even if he even if he did, even if he did it and it ended, it would end in a tie because they could just rewind their injuries. So to say what I have to say to this is that like let's look at the example when Serafina's mom is about to slap her We see that she stops her mom and freezes her because she's faster 
Serafina's faster than the mom, so she just stops and she freezes her. So if you have a, if you're obviously, if they share the same ability, and one of them's level is higher, then the stronger person is gonna have the advantage. John would amp the ability, so therefore he would be stronger. How does this, how does this work into the fact of rewind? Well, it would be some, it would be somewhat like. The case would be that John, since John has an and version, of course his would be stronger than Serafina's. While Serafina's is an 8, John would be at a 12. You would have to take into account that she can only rewind her ability, her injuries, if she's conscious. Since John would be faster, he could just knock her out. If he knocks her out, then she can't rewind any, then she can't rewind any injuries. You get what I'm saying? Cause, newsflash, he would be faster. Yeah. Or he could just freeze her, some shit like that. So. Then it comes the problem. Then comes the problem that many people bring up. John can't copy her ability because it's supposedly too complex. Okay, or they say uh, you can't copy the ability because there isn't any physical feedback. Okay, to one to the physical feedback, we've already learned that physical feedback isn't needed. He just needs them to activate their ability to sample their aura. I'll explain some things such as uh, John John not being able to copy Claire's ability. So the re the definite reason for this is that Claire's ability is pretty much random, so that doesn't really leave too much room. Even Claire says it herself that she can't control when it she can't control when it happens. The added factor of randomness doesn't help this case. Her ability level isn't high, so that takes away from what we learned. It says that higher level or complex abilities take longer to learn. I know what you I know what you're gonna say. It's a complex ability, but that's not really the case because she can't even activate it herself. So. Judy's ability being fast forward is a different case though, because we don't know if John didn't. Uh, no, my bad. We don't know if John can't copy her ability or he just didn't want to copy her ability because he didn't need it. He already completely overpowered her, which is why he didn't need her ability. At that point, he just needed to be faster than her, which ended up happening after he copied those people, people's abilities in the cafeteria. The guy, um, the guy who can, the girl or the guy who can move super fast and punch freaking hard. Like that's whose ability is that he copied. And he just like outsped her. He didn't need to um, take her ability. Besides, from what we, I think from what she said, she can look like a, a second or so into the future. That's not, like sure that would be of help. But John was already reacting to instinct and he was faster than her anyway. He, she was lucky that she got away. I'll explain some things such as John not being. Uh, my bad. Uh, let's see. What do I, what was it? Uh, what the hell was it? Oh, there we go, there we go. There. So when it comes, okay, my bad. I'll explain when it comes to like Seraphina's ability. From what we've seen throughout the entire webtoon, John has always observed his surroundings on top of like studying abilities. We, we have learned from Claire that um, when John was learning how to use his ability, he was continuously like watching videos and reading books in the library about countless abilities. So contrary to popular belief, um, what's it called? John has been around since John has been around uh, Serafina for such a long time. Uh, what was it called? What the hell is it called? Since he's been around Serafina for so long, don't you think he would already realize how she uses her ability? He's seen her use it countless times, probably. He's probably observed her use it a bunch of times. She's used it on him. If you really seen it, he didn't. Uh, he could. He didn't do anything bad because he was playing cripple at that point. So, but. A lot of people also want to say that Serafina could just Oko John and then bam, he can't copy her ability. But the problem with this is, you think, I don't think Serafina can actually Oko John. We've seen this happen a lot of times already. Like, sure, she could probably punch super hard, but even low level guys, like what's that guy's name? Uh, maybe she she wasn't trying at the time, but you could also say this. So I forgot the guy from like the first few chapters, the guy who looked like stone when he used his ability. He, she knocked the shit out of him into the wall and then like he was still conscious. Okay, sure. If she doesn't, if she fails to Oko John, and John John copies her ability, boom, it's done. That's it. She has to Oko him at that point to win. It's pretty much like a pretty lame excuse, if you ask me, because you're trying to tell me Seraphina is gonna hit harder than a truck. Really? Okay. If Seraphina can hit so stronger than a truck without an amplified enough ability to do that, sure, she has an ability. She can amplify her attack and her speed. Um. And her trick her recovery from what we've seen i'm just i'm just comparing her to her mom statistics because we don't really have one specifically for her so that's like those are like the max ones her defensive her defensive ability though is low from what we've seen for some reason i don't know why on her mom's side it's just 
low. I don't, I don't know why. I, know. I, I just can't answer that question because it doesn't really make any sense. So, just like we're saying, we're, we're talking about the same guy who got hit by a truck and got up and started running like it was nobody's business. So let's hop into the excuses that a lot of people like to say. People believe that John will lose for a few reasons that include the hierarchy chart. This is like a big one that I hear a lot of people talk about. So Serafina being number one, and from what people say that Uruchan says that this shit is still accurate. Okay, okay. So accurate, as in close to the real thing, not 100%, not it is 100% correct. It is accurate. So being accurate doesn't mean that it's 100% accurate. Ac my bad. Being accurate doesn't mean it's 100%. It just means that there leaves room for changes to occur. So small things like maybe ability levels go up or somebody switches place with another person. That means it's still accurate. It's not wrong, it's, but it's accurate. So you get where I'm going with this. What's it? What's what's also called? Ability level doesn't also directly translate to uh to winning a fight. If you guys didn't realize, that would be more of the aspect of combat power. Ability level it shows how how strong your ability is, but because your ability is strong doesn't mean you're just gonna win the fight automatically. So, yeah, if you lack in combat power and you're fighting somebody with more experience and like you know say like you guys are a pretty even match. The guy with the better combat ability is gonna win. That's just the way it works. The next one. John can't copy your ability because it's too complex. Like I said before, John has been studying and observing abilities for a long time. When he was when he talks with Sarah on their run, he says, before you fight your opponent, you want to observe them. And that's what he does. He observes his opponents. Seraphina has, has used her ability on multiple occasions around John. I undoubtedly think that John can learn I undoubtedly think that John can actually learn from his prior observations and if he really tries he could definitely copy it some people come up with this dumbass excuse they said the plot won't allow for it and that's the dumbest shit I ever heard so next all right the next the next one is um John can't, John can't copy abilities with a higher level than his own well actually this is kind of proven wrong to a specific extent this is not a hundred percent but um this is shown when he copies Zirion's ability, who is a higher level than him in their first, uh, who is a higher level than him in their first fight. So I'm basing this off the assumption that in their first fight, they did fight each other, and I mean obviously they fought each other in their first fight. Oh my god, yeah, in their first fight when they fought each other, John probably copied his copied his ability because at this point in time, John doesn't know um that he can like amplify abilities or like copy multiple at this time. But then in their second fight. He copies his ability again and he amplifies it and he beats Zirion. We don't know where his level was at both of these points in time. Well, we, well, in their first fight, we knew he was at a 3 and Zirion was at a 3.7. But we didn't know... Um, it, it was never specifically stated that he can't copy somebody's ability who's at a higher level than himself. It just says that it takes more time. It's just, but in their second fight, we don't know where his level is specifically. We know Zirion's at a 3.7, but we don't know where John is at that point. Post-training. Post-training, he's obviously higher than his than his old self but we don't know exactly what level he would be at so either he's at a higher level than Zarian or maybe they're like around the same level so and another and then the last one would be like for some reason people say John will lose because he took a break and this doesn't make any goddamn sense they would be like so he's rusty with his ability and all that extra goofy shit he's been using his ability for months now since Arlo dragged him into the desert and fought him and then lost and then Serafina has lost her ability and hasn't used her ability in a while. He's been using her ability. He's been using his ability since Serafina lost her ability as well. So around that time, it's probably been a, like, at least a two to five month time frame. Because I only I only guesstimate this because um, Serafina talks about when with the, she says that the authorities have uh, ha, he, she talked to them and they haven't gone back to her for a couple of weeks. So a couple of weeks can be a few months. So that's just where uh, that part could end off. So those are like pretty much the excuses that a lot of people come up with. So I don't like the whole excuse of ring rust just because we've seen what this man did. He came back and then he beat the shit out of Arlo. On the same day, he got ran over by a truck. And then he used his ability again 
when he fights against Aizen, and on the same day, he beat up all those guys who kidnapped Serafina. And then, not even a week later, I mean, actually, like, a week, or, like, during the few next weeks that pass, he beats Blake, Cecile, and then he fights the Royals 4v1 and beats all of them. So, Ring Rust is definitely not a question. Don't even... Don't even try to pull that excuse. That's not a that's not a good excuse. That's a bad excuse. They try to they try to justify this one by saying that he's not as strong as he could be. That's not even I don't think that's that has nothing to do with anything really. Sure, you could say that he's not quote unquote as strong as he should be. But this is the thing, this is the difference. That time that he took off from using his ability, he was focusing more on his physical ability, such as martial arts, building his stamina. That directly translates to upping his ability level because if you remember correctly from what I said in my previous video and throughout the chapters, training your body does help increase your ability level. So there is that. Plus, he needs to train his body so he can take on the recoil effects of specific abilities such as like when we see him fight against uh remy and he smashes the ground with zeke's ability he would get recoil from that bop nice okay so now that we got that out the way that's nice to know so yes i do think that john would win do i think he would win easily okay so at the beginning i think seraphina would definitely have the advantage just because she has the upper hand when it comes to just activating her ability right off the bat john would then have to copy her ability and if it is too complex then he would take a little bit of time but this would come to the fact that she would have to oko him or continuously beat him up and if john does learn her ability and copy it then it's over it's done that's th that's the match right there the game is over i don't think specifically that um what's it called the story will end obviously with just john being seraphina no I don't think that's the that's the way that's the, gonna be the uh the conclusion to this arc i don't think that's gonna be it i think something different is definitely gonna happen i do think seraphina is gonna get back her power and i do think she might fight john but i don't think she's gonna win i think what's gonna happen is that john is gonna see what the type of uh the mistakes that he's actually remake redoing and then some shit's gonna happen i don't think john is ever gonna become a hero because he's not a hero and he's not a villain he's an anti-hero because he has those types of traits but he is the protagonist so i hope other than all that you guys that you enjoyed my video so if you agree with me but by the way if you agree with me don't forget to like and subscribe but if you do i'm just gonna let you guys know right now this is not a hundred percent everything that i'm saying is not exactly this is what is going to happen these are my thoughts this is my opinion i'm not saying that i'm right but i am giving you guys my uh, evidence to support why i am potentially right in my opinion i don't want to hear horrible excuses such as he's can't copy your ability because it's too complex that I, well actually no that's not a bad that's not a bad excuse i don't want to hear excuses like the plot won't allow it and that he's ring rusted he's so he's not as strong as he should be no no no, no. i don't want to hear things like that and i don't want to hear things about like the hierarchy chart no 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 i want to hear a reason why he won't why he would lose if he does copy so like we already know 100 percent john won't lose if he does copy your ability this is 100 percent this is this is not arguable he can't lose if he does copy your ability there's no way that he will lose you know why because he will just do the same thing to seraphina he would just knock the shit out of her and he could freeze her and if she's unconscious she can't rewind her injuries okay there we go because he has an amp version so that's nice to know so if you do agree with me that's cool if you don't if you don't agree with me that's also cool but just give me good reasons why i don't want to hear no arguing in the in the comment section don't pull up none of that because i won't respond to you and if it's like a really disrespectful comment i'll just delete you and block you so if you really do like my content you won't you won't be so uh what's it called Aggra not really aggressive but you won't be so like freaking disrespectful so other than that i hope y'all like and i hope y'all liked it don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below check out the rest of my videos join the discord all that extra shit. Peace out.